Welcome to the Sunny and Moon Mom Show. We have a special guest. Per, her name pronounced Madam Scorpio. Yes, stop it. It's so lovely to be here. Thank you so much for having me on your show. It's so pleasant for her to be here. Sorry, I used a British accent. Okay, so let's start with the questions. Question one. How do you feel when you cast your vote? I feel... Are you going to put the mic on me? Thank you so much. I feel like um, I am empowered when I make my vote. I am letting my voice be heard. I am engaging as a citizen in this wonderful democracy that I, that we have. What do you mean by empowered? Oh, I mean that um, that I um, have a certain amount of power and voice and the ability to get um, my opinions across. I'm empowered. Can you tell the audience a, bit, a little bit about yourself, please? Oh, I didn't know I was coming here to do that today. Well, I am, hmm, I am the daughter of immigrants who came to this country in search of opportunity. Excuse me? What are and immigrants? so my vote is, oh, immigrants, people who have um, come from one country to another. Do, 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 do. Is it a vocabulary <laughs> word? It's an academic word. Give it up for that word. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so, yes, they were immigrants to the country. So, you know, my mother gained her citizenship, and my father did too. And so it's very important to be able to exercise your right to citizens. And as a daughter of immigrants, to be able to do that is a big deal. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. Yes. What advice would you give to someone who is voting for the first time? Do it. Vote for the first time. Let your voice be heard. No, like, what advice? Like, when, who they should vote for? No, like, what advice should... The, what advice would you give someone who is voting for the first time? Because oh. they're going to vote. Mm -hmm. So they should be aware of the issues. They should research on the um, candidates and yes. know the um, you know, referendums that they're voting for so they can be informed citizens as they go to vote. You want to make an informed vote. Yes. Last question. How do you think voting impacts in our country or community or country? Excuse me, guys. Oh, that's a great question. Well, voting definitely impacts our local uh, community, our state community, and our national community, and the world, too. Um, as citizens, we need to be aware of What's going on in our local community? We vote for people who make local decisions. Everything is not made by, every decision is not made by the president. Mm -mm. We have separation of powers and the state has powers. The local community has powers. I mean, if you're upset about your, um, you know, the police funding or about um, schools or about, um, you know, trash pickup, that's local issues and state issues. That's not even the president. Excuse me? What do you want to say? So, what what more question? This is a side question. Okay. What script did they use? What script did they use to to balance power? The script. Yep. Well, like the Constitution, the Constitution sets the structure for our country. So the separation of powers is executive and legislative and judicial. But that's only at the federal level. We have separation of powers between the state and the federal level. The federal government has certain powers and the state has other powers. Okay. So no one part of our country has all the power. So there's no tyranny. Okay, this is the last side question and you may leave. Yes. So, oh, how don't you want the mic as you say it? Okay. How did you feel as you were getting interviewed? 
Um, you know, at the first I said, I don't know what he's going to ask me because I didn't get any prep questions. But you've done so well at asking questions. I've really enjoyed talking to you about this. Okay. Thank you. That concludes our voting. Or interview. Thank you for coming. Like and subscribe. But if you don't want to, it's fine. But if you... But if you do, thanks. Thanks in advance. Love you. Bye.